at this point we are fetching the data but uh, we want to print this data inside the table employee list table okay so currently this is actually the static table but uh, let's make this table dynamic all right before that we will delete this uh, django image all right so where is this image here it is so let's remove this image then i'll also delete this okay so let's we will write that uh, for loop again okay I'll save and refresh okay currently we only have the static table and let's look at the table a little bit closely this is our table and these are actually the uh, static data okay so this is the tr and this is actually t body currently we have three data right so uh, we don't want to put this uh, three trs we have one tr and 2 tr and 3 tr okay, let's remove this uh, 2 trs okay delete and again let's delete this one okay, perfect so now uh, refresh okay so this is the serial number okay let's keep that serial number as well and uh, you know what let's change this first last and this thing uh, this will be our field name right so let's look at our field name okay we have the first name right so let's say first name okay let's not make a first name let's say full name okay so i will i will show you uh, how to concatenate first name and last name okay so let's say full name and uh, then we have the photo right let's not print photo here let's put the designation Okay, let's put the designation and uh, let's put the okay let's put the phone number okay only three data is enough because why i'm writing like this is because i just want to make another page uh, when you click on uh, ratan you should actually uh, go into another page with the employee detail page okay so that you can see all every details about uh, ratan okay so that's why this is phone number all right now refresh okay full name designation and phone number so here i will print uh, all the data uh, that are in the employee table okay so now we want to print it here right so now what i'll do is i will loop through the data and print this tr okay so now how we'll say template tag again for for i or maybe you can say for m in employees m in employees this employees is nothing but whatever the context key you are passing right so that will go here okay for m in employees and then once uh, you open this for loop just make sure to close the for loop as well that is end for okay for emp in employees now if i run the page like this it will print two times because we have two our data in the database right so that's why okay so now uh, let's remove the scope now here i want to print the first name and the full name right i want to print the full name i'll say emp dot emp dot what first name okay how do i know this m dot first name because inside the m inside this okay so inside this object okay we have a field called first name right so that's what we are writing here and this will be our first name if i refresh this you can see ratan and john all right now i want the full name right so for the full name you can simply put up space and say m dot last name okay m dot first name and m dot last name this will print the full name all right now next we want to print the designation okay so how do you print the designation now simply open the template variable and you know double curly braces say m dot designation is inside this field right designation field copy this designation field and put it here m dot designation 
the same way uh, what next the phone number right we will also print the phone number m dot phone number okay so we are printing uh, m dot first name last name m dot designation and then the phone number now i will refresh this page okay perfect full name designation and phone number now this is one and one right we can uh, either print uh, the primary key of this uh, entry or uh, maybe let's try to print the m dot id m dot id but if you look at this m dot id is not there right so this m dot id will be auto generated by django database okay so now you'll have one and two okay now what i'll do is i'll go to my admin panel okay here it is i'll add joe and joseph then again one photo our designation is seo expert and joe at the rate gmail.com you also add some data okay so this is just for the demo purpose all right now save the data currently we have three uh, data so now what i'll do i'll refresh this page and here you can see one more data has been added to our table now i want you to have a closer look at uh, this one two three okay so what if i delete this two okay if i delete this john doe okay, if i delete this john doe then let's see refresh okay so now what is happening we have one and three okay this is actually the primary key okay so that's why when you delete the data the number will not change okay so that's why instead of printing m dot id we will print the for loop counter okay so if you want to print one two three four like that inside the for loop you can simply print this thing okay inside the double curly braces simply say for loop dot counter for loop dot counter okay so now let's refresh so here you can see one and two because this for loop is running two times that's why it is printing two if this for loop runs for 100 times it will print one to 100 okay so this is how we display the data on the table okay now next what i want to do i want to click on this full name okay and when i click on the full name i want to show my photo and also i want to show my email address and other things also okay so we'll do that in the next video okay thank you